want to go to Congressman Jason Smith, the uh, new House Ways and Means Committee chairman. Uh, chairman, very good to have you. This student loan thing and all, where, where are you on this? I mean, the cost keeps ballooning. I'm just curious what Republicans plan to do to address it, uh, you know, just move on from it, what? I mean, look at it, $360 billion to be proposed to be spent by President Biden by the stroke of a pen. We calculated last year when I was the Republican leader of the House Budget Committee, we just took seven of President Biden's executive orders, including the student loans, and it was gonna cost us more than a trillion dollars. This is bypassing Congress. It's unacceptable. The courts need to continue to move forward and not allow this to happen because it's, it's unconstitutional, it's illegal what he's doing. He's bypassing Congress. Congress should appropriate money not the White House. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the planned meeting tomorrow, uh, the chairman, between uh, Kevin McCarthy, your speaker, and, of course, the president of the United States. Um, debt and discussions of that are on the table, but the president won't budge from tying, raising that debt ceiling to spending cuts. So what do you think comes out of this? You know, I'm just glad that President Biden finally backtracked once again, and he said all along he wasn't going to meet and negotiate the debt ceiling. Now he is. So I'm excited that he is. That's the responsible thing to do. We've been calling on President Biden and Chuck Schumer to come to the table. Let's address this fiscal insanity, and let's try to find some common ground. The Republicans control the House. The American people are demanding fiscal responsibility. Let's find this common ground. And I hope that Joe Biden will work with Speaker McCarthy and find that common ground. He did that. He did that back in 2011 when he was vice president. That was tied to the debt limit. They came up with it, uh, an agreement that put a cap on spending and it saved trillions of dollars. So back in 2011, it worked for him as vice president. It should work for him today. Real quickly, Chairman, there are a lot of folks, even conservatives in your party, who are concerned that if this goes to the brink and it looks bad, um, voters will blame Republicans, fairly or not. And that is, you know, a needless wound you don't need uh, at a time you've got momentum. What do you say? Neil, we need to do what's right for the American people. Republicans will not default. And surely Joe Biden will want to get this fiscal insanity under control because of his $10 trillion in increase of new spending over the last two years where the Democrats controlled the House and Senate, it led to record inflation, the highest inflation in 40 years. And that means every viewer that's watching this has to pay more to put food on their table, clothes on their backs, and gasoline in their cars. That's why they want reckless spending to stop. I hope President Biden also wants this reckless spending to stop. All right. Well, watch closely. You have a front row seat, to put it mildly. Jason Smith, the uh, House Ways and Means Committee chairman. Thank you, chairman. Always good seeing you. Thank it you, sir.